So, uh, without the book, without the book, what have you learned, Jeff? I want to tell you. We talked about the rim being made first on a dollar. And then, then the face gets stamped in it. Is, do you ever wonder how that happens? So, the rim is done on a big round machine about this thick. And rolls around there. Lady sitting there working on it. Then, let's see. It's kind of complicated. They make, it's about three different molds, forms, dies, whatever you want to call them, before you get to the dollar. And make a master. What they have is, they have a machine that has a dollar that's about this big over here that they're working on. And then they've got a dollar over here that's about this big and that's where the work is being done. They show it what to do on the big dollar, do this, and it does it on the little dollar. So that's how they get such fine detail on a little dollar is because they're not working on a little dollar they're working on a big dollar like that and the machine is shrinking it down to the little size so you get that done and then they make a metal copy a reverse copy I think would that be right metal reverse copy so they can make a copy from the metal reverse copy. They make a lot of reverse copies so they can make metal copies and have lots of copies to break because they break a bunch of dies. They're called die. So so that's that's it. Yeah, they they need a die and so they take a hub which is a step in between and they just hammer the heck it takes them all day pounding away at like 150 tons to turn this thing into a, a die that they can use to to make the dollars with I actually have kind of a cone shaped little piece of metal steel that they beat into a die that they turn that upside down and bam hit the silver and out comes your coin that's how that works so they have this big dollar no that's not right let's back up so once they take this piece of metal the cone of steel they're going to spend all day uh, pardon me hold on I'm going to tell you what it is It's an Arby's beef and cheddar bacon. I got two of them with a coupon for two for seven dollars. Buy them without a coupon. So they spend all day beating on this diet. Bam, bam, bam. 150 tons, 150 tons beating on the diet. And they get it in the shape. And they turn it upside down. And what they see is a flat surface with an image carved down 
out of the flat surface. So you have a flat surface and all the image is carved, carved out, right? Because when you turn it over and you hit the coin, then you want that to turn backwards. The image is now poking up. So what they do is where they've been smashing that, it's flat on the top. They've been smashing it, smashing it, smashing it, smashing it. It's flat on the top. Now they take a polisher and they polish that top. That's the flat part of the coin they're polishing and it doesn't polish anything inside inside the face. Any, anything that projects off the coin like the face or letters or anything like that it doesn't polish those because they are negative. They, they are under the flat surface. They're polishing the flat surface. Okay, so when they turn it upside down that's the flat surface and the face rises above it. That's called basining. It, it, um, pol it's polishing the basin. It's what makes the reading that makes a cartwheel on a cartwheel. A cartwheel being the nickname for a silver dollar. A Morgan silver dollar, mind you, not a peace dollar. Anything else? When you're cleaning a coin, that is what you're trying not to to rub off, is that basining. And I call it basining because whether it's on the die or whether it's on the coin, base, die basining is the same as coin basining. Call it the field, basining in the field, Field on here, field on here, you know, um, the die rim is the coin, rim. Rim is rim. Basining is basining, whether it's on the die or whether it's on the coin. And that's what it is. It's the fine polishing that's done to the top of the die between the hub, not the hub, it's the actual die that strikes the coin. So between the hub and striking the coin, polishing the top of the die, the flat surface, okay, with the top, with the die turned upside down, top side, that's called basin. And on the die and on the coin, that's called the basin. It could be satin. Read it. Could be a matte finish. Could be your grandma.